Veronica, CDOT has already been catching people using some new technology. They have been, and we're talking about cameras, sensors, and software on the I-70 express lane that are going to be the reason why some people start getting those tickets. And those start going out tomorrow for things like weaving in and out of that express lane, crossing those double lines, using them when the express lane is closed, even those oversized vehicles being in them. Now, like you mentioned, CDOT has been using this technology for a couple weeks now, and they've been tracking just how many people have been using that I-70 express lane when they shouldn't be. So listen to this. In the first week of July, this new technology caught more than 1,300 people weaving in and out of that westbound express lane. Another nearly 600 were caught weaving in and out of the eastbound express lane. And then close to 100 drivers caught using the lanes when they were supposed to be closed. Take a look at this piece of video. This is a dash cam video that CDOT actually provided to us. So this isn't I-70, but it gives you a good look at what you're not supposed to do, which is cross those double lines there. They don't want you to do that. They don't want anyone to do that on the I-70 express lanes. And then take a look at this other piece of video. This is oversized vehicle that shouldn't even be in that express lane. Again, something CDOT wants to warn drivers against because starting tomorrow, you will receive a ticket in the mail if you do any of that. And we spoke to a CDOT spokesperson about this technology, why they're now starting to send out those tickets. He said because he wants everyone to be safe out there. Have a listen. You could hit an emergency vehicle, you could hear a maintenance vehicle, you could hit, who knows, a family that's broken down on the side of the road, whatever. So people have to stay out of the lane. And Nicole, I know the big question for a lot of people out there is, well, what's my fine going to be if I end up doing something like this on the I-70 express lane? Well, that CDOT spokesperson told us that you could get a $75 ticket. If you don't pay that within the first about 20 days, then you get a $250 ticket. And if you thought that this technology was just going to be on I-70, he said eventually the hope is that this will be on every highway in our state. A lot more tickets will be going out. All right. Thank you, Veronica.